Mabuhay everyone, Mark Chess here. Welcome to the channel and today we are back here in Activate Sports Center over at Light Mall. The sneakers that I'm currently testing right now here and we'll give you my feedback because I thought that I gave you the full performance review of this sneaker which is the New Balance 2-Way and it was just a first impression. So right now I'm giving you my full performance review of the sneaker and I'm also going to compare it with the New Balance Kawaii's. So let's go. So before we start off with the comparison and the performance review of the two ways, let's do a little unboxing first. And what I have here is another Nike box. And this Nike box, um, I'm just lucky that I was able to cop this over at Titan for the raffle. So let's open it. Ba bang Look at that. So this is the Nike Donk in the zebra colorway so this is a dunk low and what it says in the box is it's the nike dunk low retro prm which is also i think means premium because technically it has more premium materials on some parts of the sneaker and for this one the premium ones features this long suede from the toe area going to all the panels of these dunks and it's made out of this very subtle zebra print so that's why I like this more than the louder zebra style. So this is a more subtle zebra. You really need to take a closer look to it if you want to see the zebra print, which you can see more here around the heel part of the sneaker. But from afar, it just looks like a black and white sneaker. So it's very minimal and very nice subtle details to the sneaker. And of course, for this dunks, it has an air unit around the heel. That is a standard for all types of dunks. And the outsole, of course, is made out of the same outsole like in the Jordan ones. And a little trivia about that, the traction from the Jordan ones was gotten from the dunks and not the other way around. The dunks came out first before they made the Jordan ones. So a little trivia on that, guys. So as for the sizing of the dunks, it's true to size if you're a regular footer. And maybe if you want a snugger fit, you can go half a size down. And if you're a wide footer, go half size up. And for the price, this one for the premium dunks, it's 6,000 pesos. And for the standard dunks, it's around 5,000 plus pesos. So you'll need to add a little bit more for the premium ones. But currently right now, the Zebra colorway is actually sold out and it's just available for a raffle. And if you want to cop this pair, you can purchase it from resellers, or maybe wait out for some more raffles. Usually Nike, some other boutique sneaker stores raffle off the second time on the same sneaker colorway. So that's it on my unboxing on the Zebras. Now let's get into the performance review of the New Balance 2-Way in this very Miami Nights colorway. That's what, that is what I'm calling this colorway because it really reminds me of the Miami colorway which has a teal green a very nice pink to it so let's discuss first the upper of the two way as for the upper of the two ways it features the weave that we have seen in the omnis and in the kawaii's and in the kawaii's you can see it here on the lateral part and middle part of the midfoot of the sneaker and also around the tongue part and the kawaii's that i have with me is the jolly ranchers so shout out again New Balance for sending this over to me for review. Thank you very much New Balance Philippines. And this knit found in the Kawaii's are seen almost all throughout the two-way which really makes the two-way very comfortable because on some parts of the Kawaii's it features this mesh upper that's kind of fused. So it's stiffer here for the Kawaii's compared to the upper of the two-ways which is really really soft from the toe part to the heel part of the sneaker you have the same material and it's really soft guys you just need a little break in time and you're good to go actually there's no break in time once you wear this it's very comfortable around your foot and another nice thing about the copper it's very structured it's very supportive and this knit doesn't stretch plus around the edges of the toe area is fused so it gives you extra support around the lateral part and durability around the toe area of the sneakers. And now let's move on to the midfoot part of the sneaker. 
and as you can see it has a traditional lacing system and a traditional tongue which is made out of this suede material that is also soft and as for the materials of the tongue it's really soft it's kind of made out of this uh, leather that I think it's real leather and it's really soft and the more that you use them it becomes more comfortable and softer as for the ease of wear it's very easy to put your foot in because it has a traditional tongue it's very easy to open up the sneaker and put your foot in you can adjust the fit easily because it has a traditional lacing system and comparing it to the Kawhi Smith foot it's quite similar and moving on to the heel part of the two ways features the synthetic leather that's quite soft and it has an internal heel cup for heel containment and lockdown and as for lockdown it has a very good lockdown no heel slippage you're very well contained around the heel ankle protection is very good it's a mid cut sneaker very similar to the Kawais, yes the cut of the sneaker is very similar to the Kawais. it's a mid cut sneaker so if you want extra ankle protection the two-way will give you that and the main difference of the two-way with the Kawais is of course this big plastic plate that you can see in the Kawais that has a little weight on it some doesn't like that and some don't mind like me because the fit of the Kawais is really good and I don't mind the weight maybe on a lighter player he will notice that but for me I'm not that light so this heel cup didn't bother me at all but if you want a lighter heel the two-way will give you that if you don't like this big heel cup on the Kawais you will like the two ways which is lighter around the heel and like I mentioned at first durability on the two-way is quite nice but if you want a more durable material around the toe area, the Kawais will give you that. It has this leather overlay on the toe area plus this very big fuse area compared to the two-way, which is there but not as big as the ones on the Kawais. So it's just a matter of preference. If you are a bigger dude, if you're a stronger player, you will like the durability and support more on the Kawais. But the two-ways, still not that bad. It's very supportive. The upper is really suited for all types of players. Now let's move on to the cushion parts of the two-way. It also features full-length fuel cell, like in the Kawais. But the main difference, the main difference is of course the thickness of the fuel cell. The fuel cell is a lot thicker on the Kawais, especially around the forefoot area where you will feel more impact protection and more bounce compared to the two-ways. But the nice thing about the two-ways fuel cell on the forefoot is it has bounce plus you are very close to the ground court feel is really good on the two ways very responsive the kawaii is also very responsive but not as responsive as the ones in the two ways and as for impact protection even though outside the two ways looks like it has a thicker fuel cell around the heel but the fuel cell on the kawaii is a lot thicker around the heel and the kawaii felt more plush compared to the two way and I think one of the reasons why is the Kawais fuel cell is exposed more on all sides from the lateral to the medial part of the heel while the two-way fuel cell is kind of cupped around the medial part and just more exposed around the lateral part. So in terms of impact protection around the heel, if you want more impact protection, the Kawais will give you that. But on the two-way, it still has impact protection but not as good as the impact protection that you'll be feeling on the Kawais. Now let's move on to the traction and outsole of the sneaker. For the traction of this two sneaker, they are very, very good. New Balance basketball sneakers have very consistent traction. All of their basketball sneakers have very good traction. The grip is awesome. And once you have broken them in, it will squeak a lot, it will grip a lot. And dust pickup is not a problem on these two sneakers. They both kind of have the same traction. The grippiness is awesome, the bite is awesome, there's quick to it. And as for the hardness of the rubber, both I think can be played outdoors so you won't have any problems with these two for outdoor play. And as for the width of the sneakers, 
both have the same width around the forefoot so they are both very wide around the forefoot they're very stable and around the heel very similar uh, the kawais is a little bit wider around the heel compared to the two-way but both are very wide so stability and both sneakers are very nice so if you're a shooter if you want to get your balance quickly both sneakers are great for stability and another thing that I noticed on New Balance sneakers is they put emphasis on the arch support of the sneakers. It's a little bit narrow around the midfoot part on both sneakers. So if you are flat footed and if you want more arch, you have to try the New Balance basketball sneakers, whether it's the Kawais or whether it's the two ways. It will feel good for flat foot players. As for the sizing, half size down on regular footers and wide footers go through to your size. And as for the weight, of course the Kawai is a little bit heavier because it has more materials for the upper. Plus this heel cup is very thick, so it gives a little bit weight on the Kawai's and the fuel cell is thicker compared to the two ways. So if you don't mind a heavier sneaker but you want a more supportive sneaker and more cushion, Kawai's will give you that. But if you want an all-around sneaker, well-balanced, good bounce, good responsiveness, court feel, and the weight is just about right and the upper is really comfortable the two-way is the sneaker for you as for the price of these two sneakers currently the kawaii's are on sale so the two-way i think is still not on sale it's around six thousand plus pesos the kawaii's are currently on sale so it's just a matter of the colorway that you are getting on the kawaii's whether it's on sale or not so better check out new balance store all around the metro or join the Viber group of New Balance. I'll be putting the link down in the description below so you can see the available colorways on the Kawais and the two ways. So that's it on my performance review and my comparison of the two ways with the Kawais in my unboxing of the Dunks. This has been Marches once again. Uh, thank you again for Activate Sports Center for having us here and hosting this video. I'm very excited for this gym to open up they are planning to open up soon so better watch out follow their instagram account i'll also be putting it down in the description below so this has been mark again thank you for dropping by i'll catch you in the next one peace